All right, my people, so we have another test net to get involved with. This project is called Bitcoin Rune. We're very early. They have a confirmed airdrop. It's uh, got a good narrative. This could explode. I'm really bullish on this one. What Bitcoin Rune is, is it allows you to be able to create fungible tokens and digital tokens, transfer them within the Bitcoin ecosystem. They've confirmed the airdrop within their docs. They've laid out exactly what we need to do to be eligible for the airdrop. So I'm going to take you through that step by step right now. Let's get it done. OK, so first you're going to need to download the X first wallet if you haven't got one already. Download the wallet when you've downloaded the wallet and you've set it up. Go to the settings and then you're going to go to network and make sure that you're on a test net network. And then we're going to come to this Bitcoin for set. We're going to request some test net Bitcoin. Um, so come do that and then we're ready to start doing a transaction. OK, so first thing we're going to do is X first have set up a platform with Bitcoin runes where we need to mint these three tokens here. So come to this first and mint all three of these. I go to the site. We're going to go to list runes and you're going to mint these top five here. You can go through and mint some of these as well if you like, but you're going to mint the top five. And we're going to do a transfer. So you're going to, for instance, choose need test runes. And what you're going to do is you're going to go into the X first wallet. You'll be able to see the token. You're going to click on the token, click on receive the need test runes token. Click on receive, get the address, paste it in here and transfer. We're then going to go to etch, which is creating a token. So you're going to have open mint for everyone. I'm going to put in a name. It needs to be it needs to be a long character name. It wouldn't let me submit when the name was short. I don't know why. So it needs to be long. Make sure it's a nice long name. And you're going to do a symbol, which is one letter. So that'll be B. Um, and for the name, I did all flow crypto, which worked. And then the visibility, I did that too. Deadline, whatever you want. Could do it a couple of weeks from now. The uh, limit per mint, I did a thousand. And then you hit submit. If we go to the docs, they state here the criteria for being eligible is you need to do etching, minting, transferring, which we would have just done, and then trading Rune in our Rune service, which will be their marketplace, which is not available yet. So once that's available, we will um, obviously get that done. Also, there's other criteria as well separate from that criteria. So you wouldn't have to do this as well, but for social activity, um, being active on their X, retweeting. Uh, leaving comments and being active within the Discord will also probably increase your airdrop. All right, and that wraps this one up. So I'm really bullish on this one. We're nice and early. It's solving a problem within the Bitcoin ecosystem. The Bitcoin ecosystem itself, I'm very bullish on with the halving coming up and obviously Bitcoin being the, the top OG of the, of the crypto world. Um, this whole Bitcoin layer two narrative, I think is going to really run hard throughout this bull cycle. So getting in early, on these projects in test next stages is something that we definitely do not want to be fading. So make sure you get this all done. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha, turn those notifications on, and I will see you in the next one.